What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today we're going to be covering all that is known about the new PvP ranking system coming May 8th with DLC 2 Warmind. Now there is loads to learn and much to take in. But before we do that guys, if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like truly helps me and my channel out. And I do appreciate the support, but let's get into it and quoting Bungie right here. Since their original announcements, seasonal crucible rankings have been a hot topic. The crucible team has been hard at work to implement the system, starting with season 3. Crucible ranks will be available to all players of Destiny 2. Senior crucible designer Kevin Yanes uh, gave a quick overview on stream of what to expect. We're diving deeper into the weeds to answer some of your burning questions. Quoting Kevin, hey everyone, during the War Mind Reveal stream, we showcase seasonal crucible ranks for the first time. We've been seeing a lot of questions from the community, so let's get into the hot topics you've been asking about. What are seasonal crucible ranks? Seasonal crucible ranks are comprised of two key mechanics, a level and rank points. As players earn points in each rank, they will level up and unlock new rewards for Shaxx to dole out in the tower. Leveling up gives players an assortment of Crucible tokens, Crucible engrams and Masterwork cores depending on how far up they have leveled. There are six specific Crucible ranks that players can reach, starting with the rank of Guardian and ending players with becoming a legend. Here is a full breakdown of what levels each Crucible rank will feature. Guardian, Brave, Heroic, Fabled, Mythic and Legend. What types of seasonal crucible ranks are there? Starting in season 3, we're launching two crucible ranks, Valor and Glory. Valor is a progression rank that goes off for as you complete matches. Winning helps you move up faster and there are no loss penalties. Valor ranks serve to showcase a player's time commitment to playing crucible. As players win, they will accumulate a win streak that will give players bonus points for each subsequent win. These win streaks will cap out after 5 wins and then reset. Try to see how often you can hit a full 5 win streak. Players who complete their Valor ranks can choose to reset them to begin their journey anew and even make progress towards some rewards that require a fixed number of resets. Pretty cool. Glory is a progression rank earned in the competitive playlist that goes up as you win matches but down as you lose. Closing out wins is how players are going to move up here. Glory ranks serve to showcase the mastery players have in some of our most intense game modes and show how they stack up against worthy opponents. Glory features the same win streak system from Valor but with the addition of lost streaks that work similarly. As players lose consecutive matches they will lose more and more points. This means no game is without its stakes so it's best to keep on your A game. What do I earn for moving up the ranks? Beginning in Season 3, new Crucible rewards will be attached to Seasonal Crucible ranks. This means that armor, ornaments, emblems and new weapons will require players to earn both Valor and Glory ranks to acquire them. Players receive reward packages when reaching a new level in Valor and Glory. Note, players receive Glory reward packages only the first time a new rank is reached in a season. If you lose a match and drop a rank, you do not receive another reward package when ranking back up. In addition to the suit of Season 3 rewards, we're planning on bringing a unique weapon to Glory Ranks for the players to work towards. The weapon will only be available for the duration of the season and once the season ends, it will disappear for a long, long time. This season we have a new weapon called Redrick's Claymore. This push rifle features a unique perk set in Outlaw as well as a new Synergisnik perk called Desperado. Reloading while Outlaw is active increases your rate of fire. This translates to defeating enemies in the same three bursts it currently takes from a high impact pulse rifle just much faster. Make sure you land your headshot kills as you can keep Desperado and Outlaw running indefinitely. Redrick's Claymore is available to players once they reach the Fabled level in the Glory rank. Ranking above Fabled will be rewarded with an ornament for Redrick's Claymore and a new emblem and for those who push their Glory rank to Mythic and above, a special secret awaits you. Where can I earn these ranks? Valor, Quick Play, Rumble and Mayhem, Glory, Competitive. Trials of the Nine and Iron Banner will not have any Crucible ranks attached to them as they have their own investment rewards and are separate from the Crucible. Additionally, to maintain the integrity of glory ranks, players will only be able to earn glory in the competitive playlist. Why should I keep earning glory week over week? Each week your glory rank will change depending on the number of games you played, maxing out at 3 games per week. Players ranked fabled and below will earn bonus glory rank points each week. 
For players ranked Mythic and Legend, each match completed will reduce the amount of Glory Rank DK, up to preventing the decay for the week. This means if you are a player in Mythic or Legend, you will need to hop on into the competitive playlist at least 3 times a week to maintain your status. Will matchmaking be based on Glory Ranks in the competitive playlist? The competitive playlist will be using our existing matchmaking system. At the start of Season 3, we are going to reset the skill bucket in competitive to give every player an equal start as they begin their climb to Fabled and beyond. This means that as you win and lose, your skill and rank will go up or down accordingly. As always, we are never done iterating and improving our systems. And so once you've had time to sink your teeth into ranks, we'd love to hear your feedback. Too long, give me bullets. So here's a few more details on each rank. Valor caps out at 2000 rank points. Features win streak bonus points can be reset when fully completed with no cap on resets per season. It resets each season also has ornament, emblem and weapon rewards, requires a fixed number of Valor resets to earn some rewards, featured in Cook Play, Rumble and Mayhem. Glory caps out at 5,500 rank points, features win streak bonus points, adds loss streak penalties to reoccurring losses. Players can earn bonus rank points or fend off DK by completing 3 competitive matches each week. Only resets each season, has ornament, emblem and weapon rewards. Features unique seasonal chase weapon that can be earned at fabled level about 40% of the way through your journey in glory ranks. Let's players earn ornament for seasonal weapon at legend level. How are we going to make sure everyone plays fair in the ranked environment? Update 1.2.0 will come with a slew of improvements to our security systems to better maintain the sanctity of the competitive experience. We've made what we feel are appropriate arrangements to ensure your crucible experience is a good one. When can I begin earning ranks? Players can start earning seasonal crucible ranks beginning on May 8th with the release of update 1.2.0. So guys, there is so much here to take in, but hopefully it was understandable. A little bit more info though on the Redrix Claymore. This is a weapon I plan on trying to get even though I don't much like competitive. Now as I said earlier, the Redrix Claymore will be unlocked with the fabled level within the glory rank playing competitive only. Now interestingly the fabled level is only 40% of the overall 5500 points within the glory rank even though it's the 4th level out of the 6 available levels in this glory rank. They rank as follows, Guardian, Brave, Heroic, Fabled, Mythic and Legend. So realistically you'd think each level would be 16.6% of the overall 5500 glory points rank. So you'd think getting to that fabled level you need to complete 66.4% of the overall rank score. Which confirmed by Bungie is not the case, it's only 40% of the 5500 glory points score. And they have done this so it's a realistic achievement for people who don't spend all day every day on Destiny 2 trying to obtain this weapon. So 40% of 5500 is around 2200 rank points, so that's not too bad. And that's what it will take to unlock the Redrix Claymore within the glory rank. I cannot wait to get grinding, honestly, people. And guys, on that note, I am out. I hope this video cleared a few things up for you about these PvP ranks and the ranking system. If it did, leave a like, truly helps me and my channel out. Thanks, as always, for stopping by, people, and hopefully I will see you on that next one.